Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone and welcome to week one of the Great Canadian Landscapes Crochet Along. If you have been over to my blog, you will know that this week we are taking a walk through Newfoundland over the next 14 weeks or 13 weeks we are going to be traveling across Canada and we will be traveling from east to west and as we go we're going to crochet a beautiful textured blanket together. So this week, uh, as I mentioned, we will be crocheting through Newfoundland and to complete the panel for this blanket, I have chosen a subtly textured square, but one that I felt sort of represented um, one of the neatest features for me of the landscape, which is its, uh, its rocky shoreline. So this is the panel that we will be working with today. If you haven't already, go on over to my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and there you will find all of the written information, introduction and materials for this pattern. As well, check out my Facebook page. There is a community group you can join there and as you're working on your blanket, feel free to post uh, photos of your progress and ask questions. Also, while you're here, don't, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I will update it weekly with the uh, patterns for each of the panels as we go along, along with other crochet, crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. So once again, thank you so much for joining me and uh, without further ado, let's get started on our panel for Newfoundland. So this blanket is being worked in a worsted weight yarn and for each square I'll, or each panel I will be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. The full written instructions and some great photos can be found uh, at the corresponding link on my blog which is linked in the notes of this video. Now the blanket in total will fit a twin size uh, bed, but if you would like to change the size of your square uh, panels, make them larger or smaller, the multiple of the chain that you're going to need is a five chains plus two at the end for your starting chain. Today I am going to be working a swatch of the pattern so that you get an idea of how the stitch works up and uh, when you head over to the pattern to work it, you will use the stitch counts uh, if you're following along uh, that I've indicated there. Today I'm just going to be working a smaller swatch just to give you a feel for the stitch that is used in the blanket. So today for my tutorial, I will be crocheting a total of 22 chains. If you are working the blanket as I have done it, uh, you will chain a total of 167 chains. Each panel measures about 43 inches by 9 inches. So today I'm just going to chain 22. and 21 and 22. Once you have completed your chain of 167 chains for the blanket, you are going to begin by single crocheting in the second chain from your hook. So this is your first chain and then your second chain. You will simply work one single crochet in that beginning chain. Next, you will chain three and you will work a cluster stitch over the next four stitches. To work the cluster stitch, you are going to yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through the two two of the loops on your hook and you're going to repeat that for the next chain for the next stitch so yarn over insert your hook in the next chain yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over 
and pull through two loops. So that's the second leg of your cluster. The third one, yarn over, insert your hook in the next chain, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then one more to make it the fourth, over the fourth stitch, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through two loops. So you will now have five loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. So that is your first cluster stitch right there that is made. You will then chain one, single crochet in the next chain, and then repeat from that uh, chain three. So you will chain three, one, two, three, cluster over the next four stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, where's one, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, that's two, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, that's three, and one more, insert your hook, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. Once you have your five loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops and that completes your cluster. You will then chain one and single crochet in the next chain and then continue with your repeat. Chain three, one, two, three. Cluster over the next four stitches. Yarn over, insert, pull through, there's one, there's two, three, and four. Pull through all the loops on your hook, chain one, and single crochet in the next stitch. So you're going to continue that pattern, continue that repeat all the way across to the end of your chain, chain three, and cluster over the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all five, chain one, and then when you come to the end of your chain, you will single crochet in that final stitch. And that will be the end of your row one. If you pull back your work, you will see that you have these nice little clusters here worked along your chain. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to chain five, which will become your turning chain five and you're going to turn your work. Once you have turned your work, you're going to single crochet in the top of your cluster stitch. So this is the top of my cluster. I'm going to place one single crochet in the top of your cluster stitch. You will then chain three and looking at your work, you will see you have these chain three spaces. The chain three spaces is where you're going to work your next cluster stitch. So you've chained five, you've single crocheted in the top of your cluster stitch, you've chained three, now you're going to work a cluster in this chain three space. So to work your cluster, yarn over, insert your hook and drop a loop, Yarn over, pull through two loops. You're going to do that for a total of five times, uh, four times. Yarn over, insert your hook, draw a loop through two. There's two, and this is three. 
and then four. So your clusters are exactly the same as they were in your first row. It's just that you're not working into individual chains. You're just working your four posts into the one chain three space. Once you have your five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through. You will then chain one and then you're going to single crochet in the top of your next cluster. And you're going to continue that, repeating that all the way across once again to the end of your row. So chain three, cluster in the next chain three space, one, two, three, and four, pull my cluster, yarn over, pull through all loops on your hook, chain one, single crochet in the top of your next cluster, and then repeat, chain three, cluster in the next chain three space, Yarn over, pull through all your loops on your hook, chain one, single crochet in the top of your next cluster, and then chain three, cluster in your next chain three space. And four, Yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook, and then you're going to chain one. Now, once you come to the end of your row, as I have here in my small swatch, once you come to the end of the row, you're going to continue, uh, you're going to end with a chain one, but then instead of single crocheting in this last stitch, you're actually going to work a double crochet. So yarn over in this last stitch, you're going to work one double crochet stitch. Just like that. And then you're going to chain one and turn and get ready to work back across. For row three, you are going to single crochet in the top of the first cluster. Find the top of your cluster, single crochet in the top, chain three, and then you may have guessed it by now, you're going to cluster in the top or in that chain th next chain three loop. So one, two, three, and four. Pull through all your loops on your hook, chain one, single crochet in the top of your next cluster, chain three, and cluster in the next chain three space. So now once again, you are just repeating that all the way across to the end of your row. Four, yarn over, pull through all, chain one, and single crochet in the top of your next cluster. Chain three, cluster in the next chain three space, Chain one, single crochet in the top of your next cluster, chain three, cluster, pull through, chain one, And then when you come to the end, you are going to end with a single crochet in just the top of that chain five that you had there at the beginning. That is where you'll work your final single crochet. And there you have it. So then for the rest of the pattern, for until your work measures a total of nine inches, 
you are going to simply repeat rows two and three. So repeat rows two and three all the way until, um, until your work reaches a total of nine inches. And then you'll see on my pattern there, I finish off each block with a single round of single crochet stitches all the way uh, around each panel and uh, further instructions for those single crochet round can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you very much for joining me for this stitch tutorial on uh, week one of the Great Canadian Landscapes Co. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Happy crocheting!